Timor gained independence from Portugal in 1975, after nearly three centuries of colonial rule. But freedom lasted just nine days, when Indonesia invaded the island state, sparking 24 years of conflict between separatist groups and the Indonesian military. In 1999, the state held a UN-backed independence referendum and Indonesia relinquished control of the territory. The people of East Timor have thus rejected the proposed special autonomy and expressed their wish to begin a process of transition towards independence. After 24 years of conflict, East Timor now stands on the threshold of what we all hope will be a process of orderly and peaceful transition towards independence. But the celebrations were short-lived. Indonesian-backed militia groups stepped up attacks, killing more than 2,000 people. Australian-led UN peacekeepers intervened, but the response was too late. Infrastructure was damaged and towns and villages were razed. East Timor became the first sovereign state in 21st century in May 2002, and Janana Guzmo was sworn in as the country's first president. But stability and economic prosperity remained elusive. The economy relies on oil reserves, which make up 80 percent of the country's gross domestic product, as any withdrawal will exceed investment returns. The World Bank ranks East Timor as a low-income economy. 20 percent of the population is unemployed, and more than 50 percent live on less than $1.25 a day. A third of the population cannot read and write. As elections move into a second round on Tuesday, there is renewed optimism that the front-runner, former president and Nobel Prize laureate Jose Ramos Horta could usher in change. The 72-year-old chose to run again, believing the incumbent president, Francisco Guterres, had exceeded his constitutional powers. My personal hope is a president can guarantee one of the president to guarantee democratic um, um, future for uh, Timor-Leste also can bring the back economic that uh, we are suffering uh, today, uh, especially for over a past of uh, five years, and also um, to build up good relationship with other countries as a part of uh, external politics that we have uh, currently. In a country that has struggled with decades of conflicts and crises, the nation is hopeful the new president can lead East Timor to economic recovery and restore political stability. Rumeisa Chodar, TRT World.